Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is the finale race in season number five of the NOFSRL HERS Elimination Series. Today we crown a champion for the fifth and what will most likely be the final time in the HERS Elimination Series. Today we got two drivers, and whoever finishes highest between those two drivers gets the championship here in the HERS Elimination Series. We're at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. This in Nevada, 80K. A 34-lap race around this one-and-a-half-mile speedway in Las Vegas, Nevada, leading up to tomorrow's South Point High Roller 400K in the Turkey Hill Truck Series. Today is a big day for these guys, and especially for the two guys in championship contention as neither of them have ever won a Napa Fan Championship before. Not only that, they start in the first row right alongside each other. Monty Salato, who won last week's race at Homestead, and the number 12 of Andrew Miller, both who won their first career races in this series earlier this season, both going for their first ever championship on Napa Fan. Whoever finishes highest between Salato and Miller wins the HERS Elimination Series Championship here today. It's going to be interesting to see which one gets it done. It's pretty straightforward and simple. There is one thing I would like to mention. Though. This is a race with pit stops. There will be a scheduled pit stop for these guys here today. Unlike any of the other races we've had this season. It's a little bit longer, so we're going to have these guys come down the pit lane and uh, make things a little bit interesting. We could see this race won on strategy. None of these guys have had any experience with pit stops yet this season, so we'll have to see how that plays out for all these drivers. And we'll have to see who gets the race victory. A pretty big race here. Uh, last race of the season for these guys, and even the last race in the Herzl Nation Series entirely, most likely. So, uh... All these drivers want to be that final ever winner in the HERS Elimination Series here today. Of course, like I mentioned, it's Monty Salato and Andrew Miller on the front row. Everybody else is eliminated from championship contention. 20 drivers eliminated coming into this event. The last two guys we eliminated were Ace Garcia and Justin Zydell, who got eliminated at Homestead last week. And, uh... It leaves us with Salado and Miller to battle it out for the championship here at the Las Vegas Motor Speed. We're going to cut to the chase, get these guys to roll off. We're ready to get this one started. And like I mentioned, the two championship eligible drivers starting 1-2. That means they finished 1-2 last week at the Homestead Miami Speedway with Monty Salado grabbing the race victory and Andrew Miller finishing in the runner-up position. Miller is hoping that it's the opposite here today, and he goes to victory lane with the Hers Elimination Series Championship. Dale Salzman starting in the third position alongside Luke Rainey. Ace Garcia, who was eliminated last week, is going to be starting alongside Nick Kennedy in the number 48. Aiden Shepherds alongside Ben Bark in row in number four. Then Frodemar Otz and Carter Joey round out the top ten stunning positions here from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Of course, the two drivers we are focusing on in this event here today, Monty Salato and Andrew Miller. The highest of those two drivers wins the Hers Elimination Series Championship. It's all between these two drivers, but we have 20 other drivers who want to get a race victory here at Las Vegas. And a lot of these other drivers have a lot of experience. We'll have to see if they can get it on the two relatively new drivers. With Monty Salato, a complete rookie in Napa fan, Andrew Miller, only one career Napa fan win coming three weeks ago at Darlington. We'll have to see which one of those two drivers pulls off with the championship. The Nevada 80K with Green Flag Racing in the finale of the Hers Elimination Series.
Salado's going to lead lap number one. Andrew Miller stuck on the outside of Dale Salzman. For the second position, Salzman with the run on the inside, and Miller continuing to fall back just a little bit. However, we are early on in this event, a 34-lap race, and there will be a scheduled set of pit stops at some point throughout the event. We are expecting, if the race goes green, for that cycle to begin around lap 27, right near the end of the race. So if we get a caution about five or seven laps in, we could see a fuel mileage race later on. But right now, we're clean and green, and Monty Salato continuing to lead in the number 42. I gotta be honest with you guys, I love this mod. I have really enjoyed the way these cars race, and it's gonna be hard actually getting rid of this series. Uh, we may use this for something sometime in the future. Who knows what the future holds, but uh, gotta be honest. These little bullets going around this racetrack is a sight to behold, but uh, Andrew Miller doesn't really have a sight to behold right now. He is still stuck in the outside with all these drivers getting around him. Miller has fallen all the way back to the now seventh position as he's the outside of Steven Thompson while his championship rival continues to lead here at Las Vegas. He's led every lap so far here in the Nevada 80K. All Miller needs to do is just clear somebody on the outside, but he might clear somebody here. No! Luke Rainey to the inside of him there. He's not helping out his teammate in the championship hunt. Of course, there really isn't a team championship. There really aren't any teams in this series, but right there, you're going to see Miller get the run up top, and I believe he might get the clearage on the number two. He will. So Miller will finally get to that inside lane here in Las Vegas. It took him long enough, as he's now down to the seventh position here, five laps into the finale race. He's got to hope that these guys close in on Monty Salato and somehow pass him for the race lead. But you know Salato's going to be going all out for this championship. He won the race last week at Homestead. But uh, here comes Ace Garcia. And you know he's upset about not making his way in. He almost advanced on. Almost had a shot at being in championship contention here today. But finished fifth behind Salato and Miller could not do it. He wants to beat that 42 and show him who the better driver really is. And Garcia getting the draft on the number 42. He might have a run to the inside during turn number one right here. He's going to get it. No, I thought he was going to get it right there. He closed in tremendously, but he's going to stay behind him. Be a little patient right here. Salado a little bit loose off the corner right there. And Garcia has the run. Here comes Dale Salzman, the most experienced driver of this top three right here. You know Salzman's going to be going all out for this race. When he got eliminated really early on in the season at Hillside in the second race. And uh, he's yet to get a race victory this season. As a matter of fact, only two drivers this season uh, have won races as eliminated drivers. That's uh, Luke Craney at Talladega and Nick Kennedy in the second Indianapolis race. But we could very well see an eliminated driver winning here today. And Miller got stuck back on the outside lane. Luke Craney, Aiden Shepard getting to the inside of him. They got to be careful right here. William Brock going up in the Luke Craney. Shepard! Really loose on the outside lane. He saved it in the number 31. That was right ahead of our championship contender, Andrew Miller. That 31 was sideways. And Shepard saved it in the number 31. Unbelievable job right there. He got tapped there as William Brock shot up the corner with Luke Rainey to the outside of him. And now Miller is falling way back. Now he's in a three-wide situation. And Al Legacy getting into a Miller in the outside wall. This is an absolute disaster for the championship contender of Andrew Miller. He is now down to the 20th position on the racetrack while his championship rival continues to lead. You just can't get stuck on the outside lane here. It's as simple as that. We're probably going to see that in tomorrow's truck race as well. And we're still... Only on the 10th lap of this race, but that is not at all what Andrew Miller needed to see here in this finale event. And Monty Salato, all he's got to do is race a clean race, and he's got this championship in the bag. Ace Garcia, been trying to get around him for a while. This top three has pulled away from the rest of the field. Matter of fact, the top five has pulled away from the rest of the field here. Of course, we saw Aiden Shepard get loose up there. Now the number 20 of William Brock, two seconds off the race lead. They're a second behind, fifth place right now. The top five have pulled away. There's your battle for the race lead. Ace Garcia on the inside. 
Garcia doesn't care about this championship battle. He just cares about getting this race victory, and he feels like he should have had a shot at winning this championship. Unfortunately, unable to get past Salado and Miller last week. But he's got a really good run right now. The number 15 holding on to the race lead. Solzman, Frodemar Otz, and here comes Steven Thompson. who won that exhibition race we had in North Wilkesboro back in June. Thompson doing a great job in the number 24 here today. Well, Andrew Miller gaining a couple of positions right there to the inside of Victor Delgado and Carter Joey. But he's got a bit of a gap between him and the race lead. He is now four seconds behind our race leader, so it's not all lost right now for Andrew Miller. But with uh, how spread out the field is at this point, with most of these guys going single file right now, it's going to be much harder to work his way from the back to the front. As a matter of fact, he actually lost the position right there. He's not working the inside lane very well right now as Delgado got around him on the outside lane. Race leader is still Ace Garcia. Frodemar Otz going for his first career Napa fan win to the inside of Dale Solzman. And then you have Salada moving his way back to the inside on Steven Thompson. The outside lane can work, I think, when we get to this stage of the race. You see Thompson getting a bit of a run there, hanging with the number 42. He's actually going to beat him at the line, I do believe. Barely. And I mean barely. But you see him right here. He's holding that outside pretty well, and he's going to remain side by side with Salado. That's going to slow that 42 down. And you can tell. You got William Brock here. You got here Jalora and Alonzo. They're all over the back bumper of Monty Salado. This thing is far from over. We saw Andrew Miller get in the outside wall. What's to say this Salado doesn't get put in a three-wide situation in this race? And what's to say there aren't issues on the pit lane? Because we've yet to see any of these guys make pit stops in any race this season. It's going to be the first ever race with pit stops in the Hurst Elimination Series. We'll have to see how that affects Salado and Andrew Miller. Back to the other championship contender. And uh, 19th right now for Andrew Miller. However, he closed in by a couple attempts on the race lead. Right now, he is only about uh, three seconds behind Monty Solato. So, you know, it's far from over. He can easily close those positions up, especially if Solato gets stuck on the outside lane. William Brock right behind him for the race lead. Frodemar Otz on the number 15 machine of Ace Garcia. Otz with a great run on the inside here. We'll cross the line next time. We're going to be halfway through this finale race in the Nevada 80K from Las Vegas. There goes Frodemar Otz trying to get a run to the inside. Unable to do so. Garcia holding on to the race lead. Here comes Salzman as Otz did not get a good run off the corner right there. And Salzman looking to the inside of the number one machine. I believe he's going to try to make a move entering turn number one. He's going to stay behind him. Monty Salado in the fourth position, closing back in on the race leader. Andrew Miller falling to the 21st position back in the field. He is currently last. And remember, he got stuck in the outside, hit the outside wall earlier on. He's going to have to play some sort of strategy on the pit lane if he's going to have a shot at winning this race, or should I say winning this championship. Now, I don't think he's going to win the race that far back in the field. But he's going to have to do something to get around Monty Salado. Salado moving his way back on the inside of Dale Salzman. Not going to be able to make the move at the moment. Salzman's going to stay right with him. William Brock going to try to get a run on him. Unable to do so. And he remains single file with Ace Garcia leading the field in the number 15. We should be expecting pit stops to begin here shortly. Like I said, lap 27 is the target lap. That's when they came in when the Chick-fil-A Cup Series was here back in March. So I would expect that uh, to stay the same for these guys. An absolute disaster of a race for Andrew Miller. This is not at all the race he needed to finish last. He's been able to survive this entire time. And the one race he had safety in, he didn't even need it. So... This is by far the worst outing Andrew Miller has had all season and is coming in the exact wrong race for him. The championship of Bent. And it's looking more and more clearly that Monty Salo is going to win this championship. William Brock got slid up the racetrack right there. 
and Alonzo. Travis Crampton. Here comes Steven Thompson trying to regain some positions right there. Aiden Shepard on the 88 machine of Joshua Rush. A couple of these guys are going to be in the race tomorrow. A couple of them already qualify. I actually haven't recorded qualifying yet for that race, but you guys have already seen that. Joshua Rush going to be in the race tomorrow after finishing third in the opening event last week of the Turkey Hill Truck Series. Did a great job in his debut on a major series on Napa Fam. There goes Salado to the inside of Frodo Marat. He's going to try to take second from the number one. Of course, Ace Garcia also going to be in tomorrow's race and uh, looking for a good run in that one as well. But uh, other than that, we don't really have many guys in this series who are in the truck series. Luke Rainey is an owner, just as Idell is an owner. Dan Park is in the truck series. Now, I see Trey Wright's an owner. Uh, we do actually have Dale Lightning. Lightning's also going to be in tomorrow's race as well in the number eight machine. Uh, but other than that, Adam Garcia as well. Other than that, that's it. And the race leader has come down, and he almost got smashed by Frodo Marats. That's a very, very poor entry. But it looks like it's a clear uh, field right there. Everyone got out okay. Andrew Miller coming down right here. You definitely want to be one of those first drivers coming down. And a lap 24 on this cycle is beginning, so quite earlier than we expected here. We'll have to see how long Monty Salado stays out. We'll have to see if he has any issues on the pit lane. We'll have to see if um, Andrew Miller has any issues on the pit lane. I'd expect these guys to come down. There goes Salado, Frodomar Ots, and nobody staying out right here. So everybody coming down with him. Two laps. Green flag still in the air. Everybody on the pit lane. There's Andrew Miller. He's getting off right now. We're going to follow with the number 42 of Monty Salado. How will he fare with the rest of these drivers around him? It's going to be interesting to see what ends up happening to this number 42. He's got to be very, very careful not to have an issue on this pit stop. And this is actually the final Napa fan race with equal ratings. And when I say equal ratings... The ratings being the same number for all the aggression and everything. And he's still on the pit lane. I don't know that there's an issue on that 42. They got a problem. He came out last of all those drivers. Where is the number 12 of Andrew Miller? Will Miller find a way around Monty Salato? Like I was mentioning, this is the last race with 55 55 -er. Going to have every race from now on be 40, 60, and oh my goodness, here comes Miller. He's gotten around him. Miller in the championship position. Solano had a terrible pit stop, a huge issue on the 42, and now Andrew Miller has gone to the race lead, or should I say the championship lead, here at Las Vegas. The reason why I was mentioning the ratings is that we would expect all of those guys to have pretty much the same pit stop without any issue. The one guy who had an issue on that cycle of pit stops was the guy who was leading in the championship, Monty Salato, and now the number 12 of Andrew Miller is in the position to win the HERS Elimination Series Championship. Unbelievable. What we have just witnessed here at Las Vegas. The race is not over yet. Salado could still close in. The race for the win. Travis Crampton leading the field in the number 17 with Dale Salzman, William Brock, and Frodomar Otz, the top four. Crampton coming out of nowhere to take the race lead. We're going to focus on this championship battle. Salado still has a chance at getting to the number 12 of Andrew Miller. One and a half seconds between the 12 and the 42. Now, normally, these are kinds of positions you don't want to be in in this series. 18th and 20th. But it's going to determine the championship. And a terrible pit stop out of the number 42 may give Andrew Miller the first ever Napa Fan Championship in his career. Can't believe it. He just stayed on the pit lane. They had an issue on that number 42 machine. I don't know what the issue was. He did not get off in time. And he fell all the way to the 20th position. The only two drivers behind him, Adam Garcia and Steven Thompson. And Miller holding on by a second. Salado is closing in. They have Ben Park in between both of them. And I'm sure that Salado is going to want Ben Park to try to make a move on Andrew Miller. 
back to the race lead for a moment. The race win is still important, and it looks like William Brock's got a fast car in the number 20. Oh, yeah, he's closing right in there on Travis Crampton for the race lead. Crampton is not going to hold on here. William Brock's got the fastest race car on the racetrack right now. He's going to go to the inside for the race lead on lap 30 of 34. And the new race leader here at Las Vegas is William Brock with four laps to go in the Nevada 80K. Meanwhile, Andrew Miller trying to pull away from Monty Salato. Still about a second between the two championship drivers. Absolutely unbelievable. The, the one race you don't want to make a mistake like that in, and we were kind of talking about this. Andrew Miller has made a lot of pit stops in his career. Monty Salato has never done a pit stop before. And that might have just hurt the 42. It's not over yet. Salato might get around Ben Park here. You got to think. At this point right now, Salato has slightly fresher tires in the number 12. That could come into play. They are closing in, but will it be enough? Back to the race lead, and it looks like William Brock might have this race win at hand. Going to be two laps to go next time by for the number 20 in the Nevada 80K of the Hers Elimination Series. He got eliminated at Atlanta very early on in the season. But it might be a little bit of redemption for William Brock, and it might be the first ever race victory outside of the Charlotte Motor Speedway for William Brock, if he pulls it off. Andrew Miller closing in on the back of the field. That time by. It looks like Miller closed in on Salado. And only unless Andrew Miller wrecks. He hit the outside wall earlier on in the race. You just don't know what's going to happen. Miller trying to close in here on Andrew Russ. And I, I just think that the number 42 is too far behind. White flag in the air here at Las Vegas for the championship. And William Brock. Race leader William Brock. Andrew Miller is the championship leader. The race leader is William Brock. And the race leader is going to come around and take the checkered flag for the final win of the season. Way up the racetrack right there. And Crampton's closing in quite a bit. But it's not going to be enough for the number 17. William Brock wins the Nevada 80K. The HERS Elimination Series Championship is going to be going to the number 12 of Andrew Miller. Miller's first career Napa Fan Championship here today. At the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Andrew Miller has won the fifth season of the HERS Elimination Series. And he didn't even do anything in this race. All it took was a mistake out of the other driver. He finished 18th, Andrew Miller did. It was a disaster of a race. Quite possibly the worst finish of the season for Andrew Miller this year. But it's going to be the one that wins him the championship as Monty Salato finishes behind him in the 20th position. After he stalled on the pit lane, could not get the car refired. And a fatal mistake for Salato, costing him a championship here in the Hers Elimination Series. But there's your champion. Andrew Miller gets it done here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I mean, he didn't get much done, but he got the, the job done. That's all it takes. He finished ahead of Salado, and even though they finished in 18th and 20th positions, it still counted for the championship. But William Brock, the race winner, he uh, had a pretty good strategy, got around Travis Crampton there for the top position and uh, came home with the race victory. Actually, if there's one more lap, Crampton would have come back around him and won. But Andrew Miller, once he got around Salado on the racetrack, he had this thing completely figured out, and he came home with the championship with an 18th place finish. Unbelievable job out of Andrew Miller here today. But uh, it's going to win him the championship here at the Hers Elimination Series. His first career Napa Fan Championship, and Monty Salato did everything right this entire season. But one mistake on the one pit stop of the entire season cost him the championship that's just the nature of this series that's partly why we don't use the elimination format in the chick-fil-a cup series anymore of course the playoff format is what i'm referring to um but uh yeah that that hurts that's gotta really hurt for monty salado we have this championship in the bag easily 
and he just messed it up on the pit stop and could not get off in time. And Andrew Miller drove around him on the racetrack to come home with the championship here in the Hers Elimination Series. Just can't believe it. I, I thought Solato had it in the bag, but like I mentioned, you just never know when someone's going to have an issue. He was the only guy, him and Steven Thompson, basically, and Adam Garcia. Those bottom three guys were really the only three guys who had major issues on their pit stops. But one of them happened to be a championship contender, and it cost him the championship. Absolutely unbelievable. And that's just the name of the game. That's the nature of the Hurst Elimination Series. And uh, that's just that's just got to hurt from Manny Salado. We really don't know if he's ever going to return to Napa Fan or not. Development driver to Diego Yapez had such a great season. Won two races and pretty much won the, almost won the championship here today. But one little mistake costed everything, and that's just the way it goes. Miller did not make that mistake on his pit stop. He had a clean pit stop, even though he was deep in the field. He got off the pit lane very well, had no issues there. And just because of that, Andrew Miller, the champion in season number five of the Hers Elimination Series. Air Jalar and Alonzo, Max Titan, and Matt Dalio, the past champions of the series. Matt Dalio, a two-time champion in this series. Andrew Miller joins Alonzo and Dalio in uh, the same category. That's pretty uh, special right there. Alonzo and Dalio, two of the most legendary drivers on Napa Fan. Uh, uh, Miller just joined them as Hers Elimination Series champions, and he might just be the last Hers Elimination Series champion as well. Uh, but this, this series could return. I'm not saying it's never going to return. This series has more of a likelihood of returning than the Throwback Series or the Rockstar Pro Series, because it is really, really fun to do. But it uh, really wasn't fun for Monty Saleta here today. But you got to give him credit. He did an excellent job the entire season. But you got to execute in the finale race as well. you got to complete the whole thing. And he did not do that. His pit crew did not do that. And he lost it. Andrew Miller getting it done here at Las Vegas. Absolutely unbelievable. Here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And tomorrow, who knows what we're going to see. 42 laps in the South Point High Roller 400K in the Turkey Hill Truck Series. That's going to be over on Napa Fan. I might actually put this race on Napa Fan because of just uh, how amazing this race was. Uh, but either way, you know where that race is going to be tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Napa Fan. It's going to be a great one there as uh, we get the season rolling over there in the Turkey Hill Truck Series for the second race of the series. See if Zachary Fitzwater goes back to back to open the season off for Beast Racing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to William Brock on the race victory, and congratulations to your Season 5 Hers Elimination Series champion, Andrew Miller, getting it done here today at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Thank you guys so much for watching this entire season. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Through all the delays of this series, this was scheduled to end like in early August. Uh, we finally get it done here near the end of September, but hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you want this series to return. It, it will kind of be waiting in the wings in case I want to do another series. Um, I'm not going to guarantee that it will return, but it's got a pretty good likelihood of returning. I know I said it's scheduled to be the last season. That's probably what we said last time we did the Hurst Elimination series, but uh, I'm always open for this series to return because it's nice, it's short, it's simple, and it is very, very exciting to do as we have seen here today at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow it's the South Point High Roller 400K in the Turkey Hill Truck Series, and we'll see you guys then. And uh, it's the last series uh, throughout the season, the Turkey Hill Truck Series, you'll check all those races out over on Navigan. Thank you guys so much once again. And that is it from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway and the Hers Elimination Series. Congratulations to Andrew Miller, your champion, and I will see you guys later.